Hey, what's up folks? This is your boy DJ81 on that channel Skins for Life. Now I'm just shooting straight from the hip here and I am going to take you through a lengthy, hopefully it's not that long, but uh, some things that I want folks to take a look at. And it's not in particular to Drive Club itself, it's just the fact that, you know, how can this, how could factors in this game translate into other sports games, mainly your outdoor sports games, football, soccer and one of the things that's been you know talked about and I, I read the comments on Twitter uh, just uh, followers that I have and people who I follow you know when they talk about mainly football talking about you know how each time of day is, is supposed to look like now we can talk about that first because you know down the road or a little bit later we talk about dynamic weather and talk about how the environment should look like when those uh, factors are engaged. So, as you see here right now, we have dry at one o'clock. So I'm looking at this in the terms of football. So you have your one o'clock games. Now I, now I follow the Redskins, so you know they they suck this year, but. We're not talking about that, but it's one o'clock, clear, dry day. Now, we can look at, and this will be a four o'clock game. As you see, the times are listed in the 24-hour military format. So, and this is your four o'clock looking environment. And then, let's say the Super Bowl is around like 6.30, 6 o'clock. So, that would be 18, at least 1,800. So you're talking about this, 18, between 18 and 1900, which would be uh, 6 and 7 o'clock. And then this would be your 8 o'clock game. You see the lighting. Now, this, the source of lighting from here is only just one spotlight and a little ground light. I don't know if I can rotate, the, well, it won't let me rotate the camera. but. Um, so there you have it as far as the time of day. Now let's go back to one o'clock. The most popular thing that I see on Twitter, that I read on Twitter, is that the one o'clock and the four o'clock games are not really good when it comes to lighting and, and you know, when there's weather, how it looks when there's weather. So. As I take a little drink, we're gonna look at that through Dry Club. So we have a one o'clock game. Let's say it's not raining at all. Let's go through, you have clear. Here's what cloudy kind of looks like. So you see it's a little bit just, it's subtle, but it's slightly darker than clear. And you have overcast. Now you can start to see the difference. Stormy. Everyone knows when you have storms, you'll have light clouds and you have like these real dark clouds. So you, as you can see, you can kind of see that. You see the sun poking out, but then when the dark clouds, and that's where we need um, moving clouds. So when the dark clouds move in, it go, the sun goes behind the clouds and you get your dark looking setting. So. All right, so we have that now. Let's look at it in terms of a four o'clock game. So slight difference. We go back to one o'clock. So that's your one o'clock. And pay attention to the shadows because that will that will be your big indicator if you're really detail oriented as far as your visuals. You'll you won't even need the shadows to tell you that this is a one o'clock and this is a four o'clock, but the shadow will definitely give it away. So at four o'clock, here we go with the different settings, cloudy, overcast, stormy, and as you see, the sun's not there because obviously it's in a diff different position in the sky, but this is what a four o'clock game with stormy conditions 
has it I haven't even touched the precipitation yet we'll get into that next and that's how that's supposed to look like so stormy and we go back to random so now that we have hit those daytime periods we're going to go into the what precipitation aspect of it so let's go back to one o'clock I'm gonna do base it on cloudy light precipitation this is one of the things that I keep hearing that is missing in Madden that you used to be able to have it light rain heavy rain or just heavy precipitation period you used to have it if you could change the temperature of the day that would dictate whether you got rain or snow and you can change whether it was light or heavy so so here's heavy and, and you can see the wind kick up too that's kind of kind of crazy how that works then you have dynamic where it changes over time according to whatever atmospheric conditions there are that's how that works so let me go back to heavy actually I'm gonna go back to light and we're gonna go to overcast go back to cloudy just to see cloudy overcast all right and then we have stormy so we're gonna go back to heavy precipitation and cloudy oh really I do you just saw that you saw the sun go behind the clouds. See, if it was clear, this is what it would look like. And trust me, it does rain when it looks like it's clear. See, look at that. Look at the clouds just change over. See, that's what we need in our outdoor sports games. Not just football, not just soccer, just outdoor sports games. Now, go to Overcast. And you can see it's the, the look... The lighting is changing over time. We have stormy. So that's that's heavy precipitation. So if we can go back to dry. And we pretty much have covered the one o'clock, four o'clock. So we'll go there. So probably won't be able probably won't be able to tell the difference, but just running through what you could possibly look at as far as your outdoor sports games different times of the day using drive club as an example so we're back here dry um, we can go ahead and look at the night game so let's say there's a Super Bowl or a playoff game playing at 630 so you see we already talked about lighting we we're talking about the weather Conditions cloudy, overcast, stormy. They bring precipitation into it, light, heavy, and just do the same thing there. Let's see. Overcast. You can just and look at the surface, you can tell light heavy as I keep flipping back and forth so we have stormy and then you have your night game so 8 o'clock game let's go dry so clear cloudy Yeah, it's mainly the lights that are shining off of it. And then go light precipitation, heavy precipitation, overcast, cloudy. Not really much of a difference there. But basically, this is what we as sports gamers are looking for as far as the elements are concerned. So we need to have more elements like what Drive Club has here into our games so again sorry for the length of the video um, 
trying to keep it short, but obviously something like this, you kind of are going to be long-winded. So I'm just going to wrap it up here. Again, this is your boy DJ81, shooting straight from the hip. And that channel skins for life. Peace.